If you're looking to use AI to try and make videos faster and maybe even build an entire channel using AI video generation, then this could be for you. I've been waiting for this to come out for absolutely ages. If you look at my channel, I made a video about this maybe six months ago and it's finally here. So in videos, AI uh, video generator. There's a link underneath this video if you wanna go and try it out, but I'm gonna do it in this video. I'm gonna run through the process of how you can make various YouTube videos uh, using this amazing tech. So one of the video types that you see an awful lot of out there are these sort of things, you know, 10 best this, 10 best that. Um, and there's one here, 10 best ski resorts in Europe. I kind of like that idea. So what I'm going to do is use this. This is the back end here of NVIDIA's new uh, AI video builder. And we are going to try and build ourselves one of these kind of top 10, or maybe we'll do top five um, videos. And now you've got the freedom right here to be able to just type out your prompt and click generate. So there's a lot of freedom. And the more instructions that you give it, just like with ChatGPT, then the better the outcome. However, we can also select a workflow, which helps us go on the right path with YouTube Shorts, YouTube Explainers, uh, recent events video, and then a custom script. So I'm gonna go with the YouTube Explainer. And then the first thing it asks us to do right here is to create a, and then it's got YouTube video about, so we'll put uh, I'm going to say maybe just a three minute video and then we're going to say what we want it about. So I'm going to say, uh, let's go top five ski resorts in Europe. There we go. That's not the most detailed prompt in the world, but it will do. And then I'm going to say here, because if I, I'm going to have to lean in to read this because it is, oh, oh, here we go. I can zoom. There we are. And then it's got here in this section, optional creative directions. Make this video your own by adding detailed creative thoughts and ideas like tone and humor. So why not? Let's just add a little bit of humor to it as well. Add some humor and uh, useful information about about each resort and I bet there's about 19 different spelling mistakes in there yes there is there we go um, and then background music I think we need some upbeat cheery music um, and then settings use any gender so what do we want to use in terms of a voice well we get a choice here I'm gonna go with a guy and then we'll go with, let's have a look. You've got all these different accents here. Um, let's go with a, oh, we don't want to go with a Northern British voice. No one will, no one will understand. Sorry, Northerners. Aged British voice. There we are. We'll do that. And then we just click continue. And there it is. It's kind of basically just added it all in here. So you could have just put it in there in the first place. So this workflow is, is, is not that fancy after all. But then we click generate video and off it goes. So first of all, what it's going to do is add analyze the prompt and get a better understanding of what it's got to do from your prompt and then uh, start to actually create all of the different scenes of the video, the script of the video, and it will even go ahead and choose all of the B-roll that's gonna be used in your video. So it's named it Top 5 Ski Resorts in Europe, a hilarious guide. Well, I did ask for um, some humor, but not for the entire thing to be a laughing stock, but we'll see. So uh, let's just pause the video right here and I'll come back to you any second once it's done. Okay, so we are back. It didn't take very long, about maybe 30 seconds. And then it's given us these three things to choose here. Do we want ski enthusiasts, travelers, or humor lovers? Well, I'm gonna go with ski enthusiasts. Uh, look and feel, bright, I think. And then the platform YouTube, because you can also choose to make content for other platforms like Facebook and so on. And then I'm gonna click continue. And now it's actually going to work making that video like magic. And potentially if you use these videos right, you, you upload them to YouTube, you create a really good channel, um, or you just add to your existing channel, then you could potentially be making some good money with these videos. YouTube pays quite well if you have uh, the right niche. It depends on what niche you're in, the content of your video as to how much money you earn per 1,000 views. But that could be anything from like a dollar up to $25 per thousand views, depending on the niche. For example, one of the good niches that I know pays really well is financial. So if you're talking about, you know, good sound saving advice or mortgages, or credit cards or any of that stuff, then that pays really, really well. And you could be using this software 
to actually build yourself a ton of videos in a very short period of time that are actually pretty damn good high quality and give value to the viewer and that's always got to be your goal so yeah here it goes it's starting to analyze it it's got six scenes ready for us oh the swiss sensation number two look and then it's just creating the voice the french fantasy number three i've got high hopes for this video i think this could be pretty good the italian indulgence uh, what's next the Austrian adventure. I like it. Very catchy. And then where's number six? The French finale. Okay, it's done. So that took probably about another three minutes or so for it to get to this point. We've got a three minute and 12 second video. At the moment, it's just in a 480, 480p. However, when you export it, you can also choose to have it in HD as well with a paid account. So let's let's zoom in on the video. There we go. Bear in mind, we've got uh, uh, we should have a British male voice and it should be humorous and it should be telling us about the top five resorts in Europe to go skiing. Ever wondered what the top ski resorts in Europe are? Well, pack your skis and gloves because we're about to take you on a virtual tour. Imagine yourself carving through the freshest powder, surrounded by the majestic beauty of the alluring Alps. We're going to explore some of the most thrilling, luxurious, and downright fun ski resorts this continent has to offer. We're not just talking about the slopes, but also the apres ski culture, the food, the people. So, ready to slide down the list, let's start with number five. At number five, we have Verbier, Switzerland, a resort that has it all, from stunning views to thrilling slopes. Verbier is a skier's paradise, boasting an extensive off-piste terrain that will challenge even the most seasoned skiers. But the fun doesn't stop when the sun sets. The resort comes alive with a vibrant Apra ski scene where you can unwind with a hot cup of cocoa or dance the night away. So, if you're into heart-stopping descents and Swiss chocolate, Verbier is the place to be. Moving on to number four, we find ourselves in Le Trois Valais, France. This is not just a ski resort, it's a winter paradise. Imagine a playground of over 600 kilometers of interconnected ski slopes, a haven for high altitude skiing. Picture yourself gliding down the world's largest ski area with snow-capped peaks stretching as far as the eye can see. In Le Trois Valais, even the most seasoned skiers can't help but be awed. Here, the phrase, the sky's the limit, takes on a whole new meaning. And at number three, we have Cortina d'Ampezzo, Italy, a resort where skiing meets style. Intriguing, isn't it? Known for its high-end fashion boutiques and sun-kissed terraces, Cortina d'Ampezzo gives you more than just a ski trip. It's a glamorous getaway nestled in the breathtaking Dolomite Mountains. It's where the snow glistens under the Italian sun and the pasta tastes as good as the ski runs feel. So if you fancy a bit of La Dolce Vita on your skis, Cortina d'Ampezzo should be on your list. At number two, we find St. Anton, Austria, a resort that combines tradition with adrenaline. Here, the mountains don't just whisper to the ski enthusiasts, they roar with challenging slopes and untamed beauty. Nestled in the heart of these wild peaks is a charming alpine village where old world charm meets modern comforts. After a day of thrilling ski runs, you can unwind in a cozy tavern, sipping on a hot mug of Glühwein. St. Anton is a place where you can ski hard and relax harder. And finally, at number one, we have Chamonix, France, the pinnacle of European skiing. A place where the thrill of the slopes meets breathtaking beauty. Chamonix is famed for its legendary off-piste terrain, a true test for the adventurous at heart. But it's not just about the challenge. The panoramic mountain views will leave you in awe, painting a picture of serenity amidst the adrenaline rush. So, there you have it, the top five ski resorts in Europe. Now, where's that passport of yours? I'll tell you what, that is pretty good. I actually wanted to watch that. I was just going to pause it and forward on and then just get to the end. But I actually, I actually was interested in that. That was actually really, really good. Now, if there's anything that we want to change within that video, anything we weren't quite happy with, there was a couple of bits where it, it sort of showed the same scene twice probably because it struggled to actually get, you know, the right amount of footage in that particular area. But look at this, give me a command to edit the video. So, wow, delete the second scene, it's not relevant. Make the scene half as long, it's too wordy. Change current stock video to a video drone shot of a forest. Wow, 
So that that's interesting. I'm not really quite sure um, what we do here, but why don't we go with let's change scene uh, four just to try it out, and we'll we'll say put some different footage in. Change the video footage for scene four, and then generate, and then off it goes. So it's getting to work to do that. Currently, it was like this, and that was the footage, and it says it's changing the media. So let's see if it can actually do this. So we're not only we create the video with a uh, text to video we're now able to edit the video with just simple text commands I mean can you imagine the time saving um, using this software is going to give you for creating great quality content that you can upload to YouTube and there we are it says it's done and it's changed the media well let's go straight to scene four and see what exactly it has Number done Number three, for us. we have Cortina d'Ampezzo, Italy. There we are. A resort where skiing meets style. Intriguing, isn't it? Known for its high fashion boutiques. And that looks beautiful. Terraces, Cortina d'Ampezzo gives you more than just a ski trip. It's a glamorous getaway nestled in the breathtaking Dolomite Mountains. It's where the snow glistens under the Italian sun and the pasta tastes as good as the ski runs feel. So if you fancy a bit of La Dolce Vita on your skis, Cortina d'Ampezzo should be on your list. At number two, we find St. Anne. I really like that. I really like that. I'm very, very happy with that. And you can even edit the script as well if you want to. Look at this. Here's the whole script. We can just go along here, change the words, click apply changes. And because we're using an AI voice, it's able to then just change automatically. So you're not hiring a voice actor for this either. You know, you can change the voice. Like for me, I think with this particular video, my goal was to have a kind of bright, uplifting and, uh, you know, happy, vibey type place. I would probably change the voice for this if it was me and probably have someone a bit younger, someone speak a little bit more excitedly. Yeah, I'd probably change the music a little bit, but even so, overall, this video is fantastic and I'd be more than happy if I owned a YouTube channel uh, on skiing to go and upload this or travel. So a really, really good bit of software. I think it's well worth tr um, trying this out. There's a link underneath the video. Now let's talk about um, the actual uh, cost of using this. So uh, if we go over to here, if we go usage, let's have a look. We can upgrade your plan. Let's go upgrade plan. So yearly, you get 20% off and then you can make 50 minutes of AI video per month. So perfect for making like 10 10 five minute videos, you get 40 uh, images per month from iStock, 100 gig of storage to store all of your videos that you're making, and then you can export the video unlimited amount of times and you get one user. So perfect for the individual creator. And then I think by upping this, you can just change the amount of minutes you get. So if you do need more 150 minutes, for example, you know, that is going to be uh, you know, 20 odd five minute videos. And look, $60 a month. You should be able to earn way more than that with just YouTube ads once you start to build up your channel. So I think this is really, really good value. I think if you get good at using this software, you could be churning out an awful lot of high quality videos per week and certainly way faster than uh, using even the old uh, in video, if we look at the the old method was to pick your stock footage and then it could create a script uh, using AI, but it was still very cumbersome and slow. So this really is a very, very good effort because we're not there yet with text to AI video generation. So in other words, you know, actual fully created by AI video footage. What this is doing is it's creating a great script using an AI voice, and then it's going and finding suitable footage from a stock library, in this case, iStock, and then putting it into the video. So we're not doing true AI video generation, but for the moment, I think this is actually the best solution to create a video using just text. So give it a try. As I say, there's a link underneath this video. And if you found this interesting, then you might like to subscribe to my channel for more software and AI related stuff. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.